Article 22. Citizens who live in the kingdom have the right to have the Atlantean citizenship in accordance with the citizenship rule issued by Parliament. Article 23. Every citizen has the right to practice freely his own religion and belief, whether alone or in partnership with others, without violating the law or the public order of the kingdom. Article 24. Expression right without requesting prior authorization is a natural right available to every human being in the kingdom, provided that the principles of the kingdom and the public order are not violated. Article 25. Applying the rule of no prior supervision to the media broadcasting content without prejudice to everyone's responsibility towards the law which requiring the protection of human values in accordance with the rules on information issued by the decentralized sovereign government and parliament subsequently. Article 26. The right to form associations within the frameworks of human values and frameworks of regional and global peace. Article 27. The right to assemble and demonstrate without prejudice to the responsibility of all under the law. Article 28. The right to respect the individual privacy without prejudice to the restrictions imposed exceptionally or by the laws issued by the decentralized sovereign government and parliament later. Article 29. The right of everyone to the sanctity of his or her person without prejudice to substantive controls or others' laws established by the decentralized sovereign government and legislation subsequently passed by parliament. Article 30. Every citizen has the right of sanctity of his or her home. Exceptional cases defined by laws issued by the decentralized sovereign government and later parliament, but with prior notification attached to a statement of the purpose of the entry process. Article 31. Every citizen has the right of his correspondence, privacy in all means of communication, except extreme emergency situations determined by the laws issued by the decentralized sovereign government and legislation subsequently approved by parliament by law with a prior date for, the, for this purpose issued by the competent authorities. Article 32. No person should be deprived from his liberty without the permission of the competent court and in accordance with the procedures of law. Article 33. No punishment for a crime not punishable by law at the time the crime was committed.